Hey now, I'm very excited. We're taking off for camping today and my family has requested pizza while we're out there. So it's my first opportunity to take my Gosney rock box on the road. So let's get some dough going here. So we've got a really simple recipe here. I'm making a bunch of pizzas when we go out there because we're actually feeding a few families. I'm going to have scaled versions of this recipe in the video description. So check that out if you don't want to make a million pizzas. So it's a really simple recipe here. I'm starting off with, this is just some warm water, right around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I find that's a really nice temperature just to get that yeast going. And I have 560 grams or 560 mils of the water. To that, I'm going to be adding 19 grams of, this is just a pink sea salt. Any sort of non-iodized salt will work well for this. I like to get that in initially and just sort of mix it up a little bit here to help distribute it a little bit better within the water. To that salted water, I'm going to be adding six grams of just some instant dry yeast. And finally, we've got our pizza flour here. We've got some double O pizza flour. And for that, I've got 950 grams. That's almost a freaking kilogram of this flour. Like I said, I'm making a bunch of them. Now, as far as the hydration goes, this is a slightly lower hydration than I used to go with. I find the time of year sort of plays a role in that, in exactly how much, how sticky the dough will get if I go with my standard recipe. So I've lessened the water a little bit and increased the flour just a little bit from how I normally do it. You kind of have to play around depending on your climate and the relative humidity in your area, the time of year, all those fun things in order to find what, in order to find what's going to work well for you. And using my KitchenAid stand mixer here, I'm just going to put it on the first setting and let it go for two minutes. During that two minutes, if some of the flour is just sticking up around the sides, you can just use a spoon or a scraper just to knock that down. After around two minutes, you can see that the dough is starting to form a ball, so it's now time to turn it up one notch and let it go for five. And after that, you can see, so we've got the dough, it's all kind of together here and it's it's just a little sticky but not so sticky that it's getting on my fingers so we're going to have an additional two minutes just back on that first setting and after that we are ready to pop out this dough hook and I actually like to let this rise just in the mixing bowl if I don't need it for anything else so I'm just going to lightly flour my hands just to make sure I can get this dough out of here no problem without it sticking. Just using a little non-stick spray on the inside here. You could also use oil, olive oil, canola oil, anything. I mean, olive oil would be a little more traditional, but you're just going to get this into here, form a little ball, get it in, cover it up just with some plastic. You could also use a wet towel, just something like this. I like to use the, the little plastic shower caps here because you can actually see the rising of the dough and I'm just gonna leave it somewhere warm for now. After one hour, you can see that my dough has definitely risen here. Normally with this dough, I let it go probably about two hours before I mess with it. But because I'm taking this camping and I'm actually not going to be using it for a couple of days, I'm going to transfer it to a bowl that's going to work a little bit better for transportation. Probably could have done that initially instead of letting it rise uh, for the first hour in that. However, I'm just going to pull it out. And you can see here it is, it's a little inflated. Just going to set it into this bowl once again get my plastic over top of it, and then I'm going to pop it into the fridge until we leave. Here we are out camping. Noise. Got a little brew going on there. And pizza oven is fired up. This was an absolute snap with my little tote there for it. Yes. Of course, also have this hooked up here to my tank with my quick connect there, making it super easy to set up. I'm just gotta get hot. So I've had my dough refrigerated here for a couple of days in the cooler and still looking a little puffy. It's time here to take this, divide this into balls and let it do a final rise. I'm just gonna flour my hands, pop this out. I'm just going to get a quick initial weight on this so I can divide it up equally. So based on the weight there, I'm going to get these into balls of roughly 215 grams. And that way I'll wind up with seven pizzas out of this that I've got here. The dough is still quite cold. So I'm just going to form these balls like this and set them aside. Okay. 
There we go. So I'm just going to get a moistened towel and sprinkle these with a little bit of flour. Moistened towel on top and let them warm up and rise a little bit. So you want it to go great with trees, mountains, camping, my truck. Pizza! This guy and pizza! Yeah. Here we go. So we've got these balls here. They kind of got to do their thing for about an hour and a half. They're still just a little bit colder than I would like because even sitting in the trailer, you can see like it's not quite as extensible as I would like. That's okay. We'll just fast forward this. <laughs> I won't get to do as many toss in the air spins as I want because it's not accomplishing very much. But Say lots during the fast forward so you sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> exactly. All right, here we go. And then through the bush came a big Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, looking for pizza. Hello, pizza. <laughs> Doing my little shiver shimmy because the toe is still so cold. I might need to get you a little white hat and a little curly Q mustache. Like that, I can sit there and twist it. Yeah, this dough is so cold. All right, we're gonna make it work anyway. Sweet, I'm gonna let that sit for a sec. You're gonna get some of this semolina flour on here. And yes, I'm probably gonna use more than some people do because you know what, I'd rather have a little extra on here and waste it and have it burn up a little bit in the oven then have a freaking dough stick to the peel because that is tragedy pretty much the worst thing that can happen so whatever hate hate all you want oh spun off screen we're just dropping new ones down to them right okay, now on, i'll just i'll pop a squat here <laughs> you'll feel that tomorrow yeah indeed Okay, not quite as big as I would have wanted, but I'm starting to get hungry. So let's just get a little bit of my lovely mother-in-law's homemade pizza sauce onto here. And now we're going to make <laughs> a pizza that may cause some contention amongst the pizza lovers out there. But this all right toppings I want to see the sweet well that would be the the homemade deli ham you'll see that in Pork a previous wine, video wine deli ham Sorry. got the jalapenos we've got the so we got the we got the ham you know i'm gonna the throw... devil's ingredient here the pineapple oh my goodness we're gonna go with ham we're gonna go with a little bit extra cheese on top of that then yes the pineapple here Putting that on nice pronunciation yeah i always mess that up and then, because heat, we're gonna throw jalapenos. These got a little frozen in the old trailer fridge on half of it there. Awesome, let's get her in the oven. We also throw in some red peppers, in case you're confused. Slot her on in. Give it about 45 seconds before we start to spin. Start to spin here, little turning peel, just a little bit at a time. After that initial 45, I like to kind of just give a little, little spins, work it in its way around. Every 15 seconds or so. <sighs> Here comes the rain. Chicken camping. It is the Canadian exchange. In summer, we exchange snow for rain. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> Rather have the, the weather in USD. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready for the big reveal? Just about. Ooh, right oh, there, yeah. look at that. Oh. Want to talk about your masterpiece? Ah, uh, yeah, it looks delicious. Um, we should eat that. We should chop it up right now. Put it in our faces. Beautiful. Choppy, choppy. And a sixer out of that. Look at that, beautiful. Delightful little crust. Now we got to make some more. 
I'm gonna do this. Oh. All myself. Look at this. Here we go. Another pizza going in. Whoop. Just like that. How do you melt this camera? Yeah, exactly. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and then we just threw on some really thin slices of our spicy, or mild spicy, <laughs> pork loin charcuterie. I'm going to give it a few seconds in here just to wilt out really nicely. Well, the river, some, I guess, m misty mountains, um, and the rock box on its first road trip camping. Amazing. Mm. This was exactly, exactly what I needed. Now, if I could just get rid of this rain, we'd really take camping to 11.